Snooky, Ronix, and Chris is behind the camera, and you're watching Three Tails in Tow. Welcome to our home. Come on in. So when you first walk into our Cherokee Travel Trailer, you can see our entertainment center is here. So we kick off our shoes, and we're inside. We got under here, excuse me, Snook. Thank you, ma'am. We've got all our dog stuff. They're very familiar with this area as this is where we keep their treats. They know all too well. All right, Roni, get out of there. It's not treat time. So we got our entertainment stuff here, and I just use these storage bins. You can find them anywhere, Amazon, Dollar Tree, Ikea. Um, you can see throughout this video that we use them almost for everything. We've got our Nintendo Switch. It's actually hidden behind some decor. We've got our games, chargers, and that kind of sort of thing. Down here we've got our dog food, some vitamins, their medications for preventatives, treats, shampoos, and then we've got a little bit of my stylist stuff, some shears and clippers there. Alright, and as we turn this way, you can see our little love seat jackknife sofa that does fold down into a bed. And underneath, I'm going to put you down, L. Underneath, we have a bunch of Ziploc Space Saver vacuum bags, and we have pillows. I have about seven pillows, like 14 towels, a couple comforters, so those really do shrink down and save a lot of space. And that's pretty much all we use under there is for storage. And then as you follow me into the bedroom, it's right behind our entertainment center. So this room does not have actual doors, but we do have these sliding doors here. And whenever we travel, they do just fasten like this. So this is my side. One of our lovely wedding gifts. Thank you, Ron and Katie. And here I have my side. I've got my mom and dad's pictures. And then we each have a little box on the side. Again, these are our little storage bins. Just kind of little things here and there. A little journal, medications, tissues. You know, just things you would keep on your nightstand. And then here into my side of the closet. This is where I keep my tank tops and dresses. And just a little tip for all you ladies. I use shower hooks and I can store... Uh, basically a bajillion and a million and even more tank tops on one hanger. So that takes up my closet over here. And in the top over here we have just extra sheets and pillowcases and that sort of thing in there. And let's head over to Chris's side. So on his side got his mom and him in this picture. We've got our wedding picture over here. And then we've got his basket with phones, cologne, watches, you know, his kind of stuff over there. And he's a t-shirt and jeans kind of guy, so that's pretty much all you'll find in there is t-shirts. And then socks and underwear. Again, some more IKEA little storage bins. And let's head on to the kitchen. So as we make our way to the kitchen, you can kind of see in this corner, we have a little pail for a sunglasses wallet. Um, Chris basically wears a hat every day, and it was driving me nuts to have on a counter just sitting around, so we kind of made a home for that. Got my purse here, and Chris did install this fruit basket, which in the description I will list where we got that. I believe it was Amazon, so there will be a link for that. We have a Cuisinart, little coffee maker, some coffee mugs. And then I keep all our utensils in here. And then we decided when we were downsizing to get rid of our knife block and get individual knives with some cases. Makes traveling easier and less space. So we've got our propane stove here, stove and oven. There's three burners. We basically use an Instapot more than anything, which our Instapot's under here. So I'll show you what we got in here. This is some storage, um, little storage bins. We keep our trash bags in here, extra sponges, and the little Brillo pads, and then there's a box of matches for emergencies and things like that. And bear with me, I'll show you how we have this organized. So since we live in small spaces, kind of got to take some things out to get to the back. So way in the back 
where we keep our extra dish towels and pot holders. And that just is in a little plastic bin. And then we have our spices and all of our daily spices that we use on a regular basis we keep on top. And this just kind of sits in here so when you're cooking you can kind of grab what you need right out the top. And our daily essentials, we use Clorox wipes every day and our dish soap. And then down here is our cleaning supplies. And then I'll have to move these out of the way to show you what's behind. So behind the cleaning supplies, we do keep all of our plastic bags, saran wrap, aluminum foil, and then in the very back, we have our small appliances, we have our toaster, and then we have our Instant Pot in the very back. It's a little hard to see, but it is in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff back in here. There we go. And these go in no particular way. We just put the cleaners in as they go and pull them out as we need them. And some screen wipes for electronics. You can find those at the dollar store. All right. And then here is our dinette, which we have a U-shaped dinette, which has two under storage in their drawers, which you can also access under the cushions. So in this drawer here, pull it out for you to see. It's not really the best organized as it could be, so we kind of have this little griddle pan on top, a little ninja bullet, we have a Brita, our um, Pyrex bowls, and then our pots and pans. So this pretty much is dedicated to pots and pans and everything in between. I'm not going to open that back one because you have to take everything apart to get to it. We pretty much just have extra food in there, like chips, granola bars, that sort of thing. And then in this drawer here, we keep our shark, which we had a shark before we downsized and we loved it. So this is the smaller version that we did purchase on Amazon. We'll list that in the description. And then this box back here has all sorts of stuff that's organized. We have batteries, command hooks, tape, all the little stuff that you need on a day-to-day -day basis. Here's our pantry, very small compared to our residential pantry that we did have. Um, don't judge us, we do not eat the best, so you will find lots of junk food and snacks in here. And these little containers from Sam's Club are my favorite, they're airtight seal. And if you can see in here, I do have a Lazy Susan, which has our oils, peanut butters, and that sort of thing. Um, some stuff does fall off time to time, but for the most part, it is pretty handy. We have paper towels in the very back. And then I do have some more of these red storage bins. We've got our snacks, soups, all that kind of stuff. As, you know, we pretty much memorize where everything is, so it's easy for us to get to things. And then behind me, I do have our bathroom. This is where we have two air conditioner units, and we... Um, have it off right now, but we have a Dometic unit in the front, and then in the back it's its own unit, so that's where we control the AC. And then welcome to our small little bathroom. There's a lot of do-it-yourself projects that we will have links to, which you can check out how we built them. We have a custom towel rack, which has shelves and buckets to hold other things, so if you look I really like this copper color, so these baskets came like this, and I kind of just made everything else to match it. So I spray painted the command hooks, and then these hooks under the towel. So we have room for two towels in here, and then we've got our washcloths, lady products, base, base wipes, and mats. This is all skincare products. Our extra towels, and then in here is all my hair products, and then we each have our own travel bag, so when we do use other bathrooms, like at campgrounds, we can just grab and go. And then way in the back, I have my hair straightener, 
I have a curling, um, curling wand and then my blow dryer and they're all hung by command hooks. So then if we turn this way, you can see our medicine cabinet. And I kind of put this up here. This is actually to hang dish towels on. But I had really no use for it since our cabinets are really low. That you really wouldn't go that low to use a towel, a hand towel. So we have our medications and they're just in little bins. So this is like a day-to-day -day pain relievers and vitamins, some prescriptions. Down here I just have my little bit of jewelry that I've kept. Some cotton balls, Q-tips, band-aids, Chris's little bit of space that he has in this. Notice how most of it's all mine. Then we have Sonic water pick. We have a command hook over here which has our first aid kit. So if anything ever happens and someone has to run inside to grab it, it's just right here. Easy to grab. And then me back up so you can see. This has just a bin, nail polish, extra toothpaste, extra towels, our peroxide alcohol, just you know, sort of things you don't use every day, but it is it is easy to access when you do need them. And then here is our little shower. We did upgrade our shower head to the Oxygenics. It is life changing, way better than the way better than the one that was in here. We put an shower rod in the back and then used a shower hook and then we have this rack here um, as you notice this is not like a residential style shower so you can't really suction cup anything to it so that is the best solution that we have found so far and then we do keep a mop in here just so it's kind of out of the way we don't have a broom closet and if the mop is still wet the shower I mean it's pretty much a shower so it's fine if it's a little wet when you're done using it and that is our bathroom. We do have some hooks here for robes and towels. And then behind me is where all the fun happens. Not really, it's where we make our money. So here is our office. This is a bunkhouse model travel trailer. So, I, so when we started out, this was a bunk here and there was a couch underneath. And then on the other side is an opposing slide that's identically the same. What we have done here is we made a custom desk. We have a butcher block style surface and then we have um what do you call it? Chris help me out. That's plumbing pipe. Plumbing pipe. Okay I thought it was the galvanized steel. Uh, we were looking at galvanized. We actually went with the painted uh, okay. configuration. So, Chris had to help me remember that there. And then we just have, you know what, what works for us, I have my headphones here. This is a touch screen Dell, which um, I do graphic design and in the process of learning more and it helps with that. And then Chris's workstation over here, which how he manages his IT business. And behind here we decided to keep this bunk here. Just for when we travel, it can come down and we can use it as storage. And also, you wouldn't even know, but this is where we keep our wakeboards. We're big wakeboard lovers, and it is a sport that we both have a lot of passion for. So as you can see, here's more of our wakeboards. This is Chris's wakeboard, and we took all the fins and bindings off. And it makes it easily stored up above. And there's actually four wakeboards back here and you wouldn't even notice. So then, turn to this side. It's a little messy as we're still trying to figure out what to do with little odds and ends, but here's the dog section. And they have an extra large kennel, which, believe it or not, we could have three kennels. Each of them would have their own kennel, but they would cry. They like to be with each other. Isn't that right, Elliot? You like to be with your sissies? So as you can see, they love to cuddle and be together so they have one giant kennel. Hi Ronix. Hello. And then we just have some storage bins up here with pictures, office supplies, some book bags, hiking bags. We have an inflatable kayak that I got for Chris for Christmas. We have yet to use it but it's here. We're ready to try it out. Where we're actually staying is some famous springs so I think that's where we're gonna 
break it out of the box and try it out at. And then, of course, our laundry baskets. And then as you turn around this way, we have our back entertainment center. So back here, you can see we actually have a Zomoto camera to monitor the dogs, which we can see from our phones. And it's pointed right to their kennel. We have our Xbox One back here. So as you've seen in the front, we have a Nintendo Switch. And then we have our Xbox back here. We're a little bit of gamers here and there. Um, mostly Chris plays on the PC, but we do have other gaming systems. And pretty much in here is Xbox controllers and the, all the hookups and everything for that. And then on this side is my closet. Closet continued. So I do store my extra purse up here. These are just shirts that I found that get wrinkled whenever they are folded up, so I have them hanging. It's hard to see, but in the very back, you grab one of them out so you can see. So here's one of our bindings that we took off the wakeboards. All three pairs of our bindings fit nice and snug back here. And wakeboarding is a seasonal sport, so we don't wakeboard every day. So, but when we do need to get them, it's easily accessed through there, through the closet. Down here is a wedding gift. Thank you, Aunt Tammy and Charles. It's a wine box. We decided to keep that and has a lot of pictures and memories and stuff in there. And down below, Courtney's clothes continued. Believe it or not, guys, I really did downsize a lot. I got rid of, like... 8 to 10 bags of clothes, so still have more than I need. Elliot peed on this floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just noticed. Sorry for the break. Had to clean up Elliot's little mess. He is still a puppy. Glad we found that little pile of pee, though. He is sneaky at times. So right here under this, not going to really show into detail, my undergarments and bathing suits, that sort of thing. And then on this side, Chris's little tiny section compared to all the room that I take up. So his extra shoes, we have his pants, shirts, shorts, all that. And then this area right here, Chris just has his office junk, whatever you want to call it. His little figurine, and then this is a coin bank that we got as a souvenir from St. Augustine. And then on this side, we keep all of our hoodies and jackets and coats and all of that stored right here. So as you follow me back this way, I will show you we do have an underpass, which is accessed under our bed, which we use for storage. So let me just pop up the bed and show you. So under here, it's hard to see, I don't know if you can see me, we have extra bags. The rest of my hairstylist tools, bowls, brushes, combs galore. And then we have bags under here that are the rest of my shoes. And believe it or not, we actually do have a bag full of dog clothes. Yes, it's sad, but dog clothes. A beach bag, pool bag, and then we have our helmets and life jackets over there. You taking a look, Snook? They look nice and organized. Did Mommy do a good job? Yeah? Mommy did a good job? Alright, moving on. Alright, so if you're following me back to the living room. Alright guys, you want to say goodbye? Come here. And this is Ronix, as you met earlier. Oh, oh, is it belly rub time? Is it time for belly rubs? Oh, get off the camera, Mommy. I want the belly rubs. Yeah? Yeah? Is that so? So this is Rodex, our black lab, the silliest girl of them all. Yeah. Where's my princess? Where's the princess girl? Come here. As you can see, Snuffy is being a princess in her bed over there. Which is not really her bed, it's Elliot's bed, but you can find her over there most of the time. Hi, Snooky. Hi. Yes. And there is dog toys all over. Oh, are you saying hi, Elliot? Are you saying hi? Yeah? Alright, well thanks for checking out our travel trailer and how we have it set up. If you like and subscribe, we are Three Tales in Tow and we post weekly.